Hello, today we are going to explore computational thinking, moreover the logic behind it. First we need to figure out how a computer's brain looks and works, the brain being the CPU of course. As you know the human brain consists of neurons and grey matter, the computer's brain looks a little different. When we think about how a computer works, we picture the descending code from the matrix. What it actually looks like is this, yes a simple on and off switch. Well, hundreds and thousands of on and off switches called transistors. These transistors function with electricity, quite simply without power, they remain off. With power, they switch on. This is how computers function. A series of transistors consisting of on and off switches represented by zeros and ones. Well, that's enough binary for now, we'll look at that in a later video. For now we're going to have a little look at Boolean logic. Now when I talk about logic, I don't mean common sense, there's not enough time in the video to teach you that. For example, No, the kind of logic we are talking about are logical operators. This is how the computer performs calculations. They consist of addition and subtraction, multiplication and division, exponentiation, modulus and integer division. Yep, you guessed it, the symbol used is indeed the plus sign. And again, for subtraction, it's the minus sign. However, with multiplication, it's a little different. Here we use the asterisk key, or the star sign. And for division, we use the forward slash. Now that we've gone over the basics, we're going to have a little look at exponentiation. In exponentiation, we multiply the base number by itself, the amount of times indicated by the exponent. For example, here we multiply 5 by itself 3 times, also known as 5 cubed. Here in our second example, our base number is 7 and our exponent is 4. So we multiply 7 by itself 4 times, giving us the answer 2401. Next up is modulus. Now modulus is used to calculate the remainder. The symbol used is mod. For example, 5 mod 3 is 2. That's because 3 goes into 5 once, leaving us with a remainder of 2. If we look at our second example, 13 mod 3 is equal to 1. That's because 3 goes into 13 4 times, leaving us with a remainder of 1. Finally we have integer division also known as div. Div is used to work out the whole number division, where it does not return any decimal numbers. This is the opposite of modulus. For example, 13 div 3 is equal to 4. That's because 13 divided by 3 is 4.33 reoccurring. So the answer only returns the number 4 as that is our integer, our whole number. Keep in mind that it does not round up or down, all it does is return the integer value. Now if we have a look at our second example, 23 div 7 is equal to 3, that's because 23 divided by 7 is 3.29 and we only return the integer value of 3. Well that concludes our Boolean logic. Remember to like, share and comment what you would like me to go through next below.